In today's video, we're going to be building an underwater house in Blocksburg. Also, thank you to Rebecca for sending me this very cute decal. If you want a chance for me to show off your art in one of my videos, all you have to do is send me the decal code on Instagram, Discord, or you can comment the code in my comment section. So with that being said, let's get on with the video. Okay, making an underwater house is going to be a little bit difficult, so hopefully it will work. So the first thing I want to do is actually map out the rooms. I want my bedroom to be here, and then we can kind of cut this off. Or we also need a way to actually get into the underwater house, so maybe this can be like like the hallway okay and we also need the bathrooms i think i'm gonna do something like that because what i'm actually gonna do is put a jacuzzi at the end like this and as for the kitchen and the living room i guess we'll just do something like this it's not gonna be like a really big house because girl pools are expensive okay now for the difficult bit which is actually adding the pool and the basement okay so i'm just gonna use a shallow pool because once you're in the basement this shallow pool it's actually a facade the shallow pool actually goes like really deep like this hey okay, now for the expensive bit it, which is actually adding the pool. I love watching my money go down so fast. Ready? You see my money? Now you don't. 11 grand? Oh, easy. And as you know, we can't actually put a basement right next to the pool because apparently it's illegal in the Boxburg universe. So we're gonna have to go into the basement and then turn our roof off and then hopefully... Oh wait guys, I think I've made a little whoopsie daisy. Oh yeah, okay. The pool actually has to come out a little bit less because it actually kind of extends. Okay, so yeah, we've got the outline but as you can see the pool's all messed up so we might actually have to fix that. <laughs> also, I don't want to delete these pools because I'll lose so much money so actually you're gonna just have to redo that okay you know what i'm gonna get this basement and pool sorted out and then we can actually get started on decorating okay there we go we've got the layout of the house done it looks crazy at the moment but i promise you it it will look normal the only thing though is that instead of walls we're actually going to be using basic shapes okay and this is going to be the bedroom so i want the bedroom to be the majority of it is going to be made out of windows and then as for the entryway this can be made out of walls okay and then we'll just copy these transparent cubes and put them in the kitchen as well you know what let me know in the comments how how much do you think this house is gonna be because I think it's gonna be very very expensive have any of you guys actually been to an underwater hotel like that would be so cool but also terrifying like I love the water but I'm absolutely terrified of what is in the water like the water is beautiful but what's in the water is very spooky okay so i think we've got all the walls done hopefully i'm also thinking we should add an elevator thirty thousand dollar elevator yes ma'am so some of this is going to be roof and then some of it's actually going to be sky roof okay so the outline of this underwater house is going to be made out of flat roof and then i'm thinking the middle bit in here which is going to be the living room we can have like a nice sky roof in here actually you know what we'll also have one in the bedroom as well so a little sky roof moment beautiful okay boom we've got the roof done and oh my god this is actually looking so cool like i don't even know what interior style we're gonna go for i think i just want it to be very minimalistic guys you have no idea how difficult it is building in here okay now first things first i really need to fix this lighting now usually i hate bright lighting but i feel like it's kind of essential in an underwater house oh la la she looking so pretty so as for the floor we're also just gonna stick with marble now because this is the entryway and we made this out of walls which means we can add windows so i'm just gonna use modern windows and place them like this and we just need some entryway things so maybe guys i was gonna add an umbrella why would we need an umbrella in an underwater house i'm losing my mind a few little coats apparently you guys told me i can resize these towels oh my gosh whoever told me that thank you i will be doing that from now on okay what else can we have in here maybe just a console table we're gonna keep it very simple and then over here is where i want to have some storage so we can just put these fancy industrial console tables like this and we'll make them nice and modern and then above this we can have a photo maybe it can be like a little mermaid photo did you guys ever watch h2o just add water i was obsessed with that show leo the condensation i'm always so concerned about this guy why does he look like he's in pain okay there we go that looks kind of cute okay now as for the living room i don't know why i made this so big oh because of the kitchen <laughs> i just realized we need like a wall here because this is going to be the bathroom as for the living room i want it to be directly under the sky roof i want a really big rug i might even make this bigger like that i'm talking big i want a big big rug and as for the chairs i'm thinking we can use these sophisticated lounges because i actually haven't used these before i feel like they would look really cool underwater underwater like i've used them but like not much and then instead of a massive chandelier up the top we're just gonna add a floor lamp behind the lounge you know what we need behind the lounge more storage and that way we can like fill it up with stuff you know what screams five star underwater hotel these mini reindeers okay i guess we can just fill up this shelf with storage cubes okay now some 
somehow, some way, we need to fit the dining room and the kitchen. So we have like this two by four over here. So I'm thinking maybe we can put the dining room here because I really want to have like a chair that looks out to the water. Um, excuse me. Why is this table 3,000? 800. Oh yes, let me just buy so many of these. Actually, I really like these geometric dining tables, but they're too small. So maybe if I put two like this, also add these modern chairs because I kind of like them. I love setting tables up in Bloxburg. It's so therapeutic. Oh my God, guys, you know what would be kind of messed up? Okay, picture this. You're in this underwater house and what do you have for dinner? fish. Can you imagine just having fish and looking out the window and there's a little fishy floating by? He would be traumatized. We're gonna traumatize that fish. I don't know if you guys watched the new Little Mermaid movie, but Flounder, was that the fish? Flounder was looking so yummy. I wanted to cook him up and eat him. <laughs> that is so bad. <laughs> I apologize. Okay, we can also have like a nice chandelier above the dining table. Okay, that's pretty cute. We've also got another little empty storage area here. So we might just fill this up with books. One thing I wish they updated in Bloxburg is these books. Like I wish there was more detail in them. Look at the way this house looks like from the pool. Oh my gosh. This is a fish's perspective. Okay, I don't know how, but I really want to add a fish tank. Okay, you know what? This entire wall is going to be one big fish tank. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but it's going to work. Is there like a decal that has like a transparent fish oh my god that is disgusting oh unless i make this the fish hold on i have an idea in like this and then i fill this entire wall oh <gasps> It's like a fish tank. I'm a genius. We can put waterfalls at the back here and kind of make this fish tank stand out. We can have some lights. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but if I stare at this for too long, it looks like the fishes are moving. That genuinely looks so cool though. But now we need to add the kitchen. So I want to add the kitchen in this corner. We're not going to have cabinets. We're just going to have counters. Also, guys, are we even allowed to have ovens underwater? I don't know. I feel like that's kind of a safety hazard. Okay, we can't forget our good old coffee machine. Ooh, a toaster. I always forget to add toaster. It's because I never never have toast in real life because I have celiac disease so like that means I'm allergic to gluten and I'll only have gluten-free bread and it will taste really bad so I just don't eat bread <laughs> okay you know what we'll bring more of these blue led lights around the place I don't know why like maybe blue led lights below the border of the room don't worry guys I am adding a sink and then we also need an island bench I'm just gonna use this plain basic counter and I don't know why but whenever I add a lemon bowl to my kitchen it just makes it look more fancy I don't know the logic behind it but I always add a lemon bowl. Now over here I definitely want to add the TV. Usually I add a fireplace but I don't know if I should add a fireplace underwater. It's Bloxburg. What? It's Bloxburg. It's not illegal. I can. It's not like it's going to evaporate the water. Okay so we can go ahead and add this really big TV on the fireplace. I think the lounge room is done which means now we can work on the two last rooms. So firstly we can do the bathroom. Now I'm actually super excited to do the bathroom because I have like an idea for what I want to do in my head. Okay so we can put this jacuzzi in the corner here. I also want to have like a little bit of storage behind the jacuzzi so then we can have room to add candles and like soap make it nice and cozy and you know what to make this bathtub look even more realistic we're gonna put a little sneaky fog machine and then we can add a semi-transparent cube inside of this bathtub okay so i don't know if you guys have ever been to like a five-star hotel but sometimes they will have like roses and they'll like set up the bathtub i don't know i do something like that so it's nice and pretty might actually put more led lights around the bathtub just to kind of make it stand out more but of course we still need to add the toilet and the sink and then as for the mirror i'm just gonna put this black lit mirror that way it lets off some light okay so the toilet can go over here and you know what i guess we've got room to add a shower we can like put the shower over here make it out of gold gold shower and we can always cut this wall off like this okay and we also need a place to add our soap and shampoo so we'll just put a little glass shelf like this and then we can just have a little wooden bath mat here as soon as you walk out you know what i just realized there's not much privacy from the fish but okay so i've got the shower that actually looks pretty cool now what i want to add behind the jacuzzi is a few candles to make it nice and vibey damn okay look how much of a vibe this bathtub is and then finally we can just have a few storage units above the toilet toilet paper might fall off and hit your head but it's fine okay now finally the last room we have is the bedroom now i'm so excited to do this also i don't know if i like these floors so i might just change them to marble the good thing about this bedroom is that it's actually really big so as you can see when you first walk in there's kind of like this little door here which is perfect because it's like privacy okay so we've got the console table here so maybe 
maybe we can just have some keys. I don't know why you'd need keys underwater, but who knows? And we can also stack some of these designer books because I love them. Now, you know what we need in here? Plants. We actually haven't added that many plants in today's video. Okay, so obviously the bed is gonna go up against this wall and I want a huge, huge bed. So I think I'm just gonna do this modern double bed and then that way I can make my own bed frame by adding a painting. There we go, something like that. Oh, and heaps of pillows, obviously. I love sleeping with heaps of pillows. I, I think I have like six pillows on my bed, which I know is a lot. Actually, let me know in the comments how many pillows do you sleep with? Because I wanna see if I sleep with more than you. Now also, because this room is underwater, I wanna like keep going with that theme. So we're just gonna add more of these blue horizontal neon lights because I really like the way they look underneath. Also, I don't like how there's gaps up here. I don't like how you can see that. So what if we add structures up the top here? And as you can see, it kind of blocks out the light that's coming from the top. Oh, I also wanna make the bed look like it's floating. And then if we change this to nighttime, as you can see, it kind of looks like the bed's floating. It kind of gives like this cool effect. You know what I really wanna add underneath here? A piano. Look at this piano. Oh yeah, this definitely looks like a mermaid piano. Okay, and we'll also add a TV at the end of the bed. I don't like this little circle thing, so I'm just gonna put a basic shape on top of that to cover it. When you don't like something in Bloxburg, just cover it with a basic shape. And there we go, huzzah. You know what, this room is actually so big. We can even have a seating area at the end of the bed. So I think we're gonna get this sleek sofa and then like two sleek armchairs and we can make them like white and gold. As for the table, I'm pretty sure they have like a modern, they do, they have like a modern coffee table. I feel like it actually takes up too much room. So we might actually do our own custom made table. Okay, and these can be made out of granite. There you go. Should we just buy a $400 rose? You know what, it is a fancy underwater house. So we're gonna do it. We'll also add some pillows on the lounge. We also need dresses because we don't have room for like big wardrobes. So I think I might just put the dresses along this side so they don't take up much room. Jeez, okay, these two designer books alone cost $1,159. And I just bought them because I'm psycho. Okay, there's our dresser. We can change our clothes and let the fishes watch. Now, you know what this room actually needs? It needs some curtains. Now, obviously, because the walls are made out of basic shapes, we can't actually add real curtains, but instead, we can just use round pillars and kind of stack them together. And then that way, they kind of look like curtains. But also, to make this look more realistic, because the curtains kind of just look like they're hanging off the roof, we're just gonna add a large round rod up the top. That way it kind of connects the two curtains together. Okay, so I think the house is done. Now, finally, what I really want to do is go on the outside of this pool and add a few plants. So that way it kind of looks like there's like some coral reef. See how that kind of looks like from the outside? Pretty cool. Okay, so the underwater house is finished and it comes to a total of 217,000, which is crazy. So let's have a look inside. Okay, so the only way to get to this underwater house is through a elevator. So you kind of hop in this spooky elevator. This is really spooky. It's like shaking and... <gasps> oh my gosh, this looks crazy. Okay, so the first room we have is obviously this very long walkway. And oh my gosh, this looks so surreal. You can even see the kitchen over there. All right, we then have this second little entry area and I decided to add some coral reef decals. And I mean, look how beautiful this photo is. Like if I was a fish, I would definitely live here. Okay, then coming back here, we have the living room. Now, honestly, for an underwater house, this is a pretty big living room. Like there's so many couches under here. And we also have a TV and a fireplace. I don't know if we should be having a fireplace underwater. And then over here we've got the kitchen. It's not the biggest kitchen, but I mean, it definitely does the job. And you can just look out at these beautiful weeds. I don't know. And our iconic lemon bowl. We love lemons. And then making our way over here, we've got the dining table. I love the way this dining table turned out. If I were to choose any of these seats, I would probably pick the seat over here because you've got like a pretty cool view of like the ocean and you've got a view of the TV. And I mean, if you want, you can just reach back and grab a book. Now making our way to the bathroom. But before we go to the bathroom. We've also got this really cool fish tank. I actually love the way this fish tank turned out. We've got Nemo, we've got Dory, we've got Flounder, we've got all the fishes up in here. Okay, now for the bathroom. This bathroom is honestly such a vibe. It's so like zen and relaxing. Can you imagine just sitting here in your jacuzzi, just looking out at the water? This waterfall as well. I love how I added these waterfalls behind the jacuzzi. It's just, I don't know, it's so relaxing. And then we've got the sink, toilet, and of course the shower. And then finally, the last room of the house is the bedroom. So we're greeted by this massive 
coral reef decal. And then if we go around here, we then have access to the bedroom. This bedroom is honestly so pretty. It just reminds me of like a mermaid castle for some reason. I don't know why. And yes, I added a fancy statue. Don't judge me. But yeah, I love this bedroom because it literally has a view of the ocean from literally every angle you look at. And it also has access to this beautiful sky roof as well. The sun sets like inside of the water and it's just so beautiful. So yeah, I'm definitely obsessed with this bedroom. And I also added my own custom bed frame. And yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed me building an underwater Bloxburg house. I cannot believe that I pulled this off somehow. I think it looks pretty cool. I would live here personally. So let me know in the comments, would you live in this house? I don't know if I would, I'm still contemplating it. <laughs> but with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you wanna see more content like this, make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.